Hey guys. All right. So I'm gonna grab some candy corn to get me in the Halloween spirit. We are going to draw some pumpkins. Here's one of my visual aids. So we're basically gonna draw pumpkins straight on, just using pencil. You find a good piece of paper. All right, that's one I've already done. All right, here we go. So I'm gonna hold, um, you can either hold your paper uh, portrait style like this, or you can turn it and do landscape. I'm going to do my landscape. I feel like it gives us more room. Um, Alright. So, the first thing I'm going to do, I want to have two pumpkins. I want to have a, a larger one and a smaller one. Um, I'm going to put, just like my visual aid, my larger one is on the right side. So I'm going to put my larger one on the right side and have my smaller one on my left. So, um, this visual aid isn't to draw it exact. I'm not trying to exactly draw what I see, but it's just kind of like reminding me, you know, what you need to do to draw a pumpkin realistically, you know, to, so that you don't revert back to the kindergarten pumpkins that are a circle with a triangle or circle with a rectangle on top, excuse me, um, because that is not a realistic pumpkin. All right, we're gonna give it a little bit more width on the side. All right. Okay, notice how my bottom's kind of flattened. It's not uh, very rounded on the bottom at all. Um, that's because when pumpkins are growing, they kind of sit in one spot and sometimes they can get a little flat. All right. This next one I'm going to make a little bit lower, but I want it to overlap. Um, I still want it to be somewhat big. I don't want it to be so small that, you know, it doesn't look right. So this one's sitting, see how it comes down a little bit lower too, because it's sitting slightly in front. I can even have it come down just a little bit lower. So that it appears like it's in front. Okay, and then I'm going to erase uh, the back pumpkin so we don't see it through it. All right, so now I've got my general shapes, right? I know this one's going to be a little bit more rounded. This one's going to be a little bit more oval. Okay, remember they don't have to be perfect. Pumpkins are bumpy, so it's okay. Um, now, for the stem... You want to have a shape that's like, it's not going to be a, uh, you know, it's not going to just attach like this. It comes down in these points, okay? So even this one, it comes down in points, okay? So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to, for this top one, I'm just going to create... This is this is just to kind of guide me. I don't want to go out further than that with my little points. Okay. For this one, I am going to put it a little bit lower, like like my visual aid. So I'm going to have my stem kind of connect here. Okay. So I'm going to start with this back one because it's a little bit easier. So what I'm going to do is create these like kind of scalloped edges. And that's going to be the basis for my stem. Okay. Um, for this one here, um, I'm going to do kind of the same thing. Um, except for I am going to start my stem. So I'm going to kind of go like this. And then I'm going to do those kind of scalloped edges. Okay. Um, my stem will extend past my pumpkin, but I just figured start start here, 
okay? All right, so the next part that we're gonna do, I wanna create some of these lines that you see, these little dents, you know, these dented lines that are in a pumpkin, okay? Those ridges, so I wanna create my ridges. And if you notice, a lot of the times they will follow along with one of the points on, on your um, stem. So that's why I wanted to kind of figure out where my points were gonna be on my stem first. All right, so I'm gonna create the middle line, whatever the, the middle line is, that's what the one I'm gonna start with. And then you kind of curve out for the other ones. This one, see how it's kind of pretty much straight up and down. And then these ones are going to go out. If you don't have another point there, just create another line anyway. Not all the lines come out from the points. It's always good to have a couple lines on each side. Um, I'm going to do that for this one. This one, this is going to be my middle line. Curve out. Curve out. Now I'm going to have, I'm going to pretend there's like a line here. We'll give it another point right there. Give it a point right there. Okay. And so I want to curve my line. You guys don't have to do yours exactly like this. You can make two where they're like this. If you don't want to do this, this is, might be a little bit harder. Okay. I just like the way it looks. So, all right. So the next step, the next thing that you're going to do, you want this bottom to look like these are going to stick in, right? So the best way to do that, in my opinion, is to bring it out a little bit on each of those spots. Okay, so then I'm going to erase my original bottom of my pumpkin. And I'm left with the bumpy bottom, which I like. All right. I like it so far. Okay, so now I'm going to do the same thing for this one. So uh, it's going to go out, come back in, go out back in, out, back in, and you can even add this one, make this one go out a little bit. So I got to erase again. Okay. And I forgot this one. Actually, I want to make this come down a little bit more. Let's have it come down like this. All right. And then go out and go back in. It's okay if it's not perfect, because pumpkins are not perfect. They're just going to grow the way they grow. Alright, so for this back here, I'm just going to kind of go like this. Um, I guess I kind of need to figure out where I want my... Um, basically how I want my stem to go. So, perfect time for it. I'm, I am going to create a little line going across my paper. Please excuse this mark. That is from my dog from another time when I was using this straight edge. She decided to step on it. Alright, so... Or no, she decided to lick it. That's right. That's what it was. Alright, so I just gave myself a little line here to indicate my tabletop. Okay, it's good to use a straight edge because you might eyeball it and think that, you know, you're at the same level and you're not. Um, okay, so now I want to create my stems. I personally like the way I did my stems in my little drawing where they kind of almost curve towards each other. Um, I like the little loopy one I did on this one, and I'm probably going to recreate that on this one. All right, so I'm going to have this one curved this way. So I'm going to start doing it. And as your stem goes up, it's also going to get thinner, guys. So remember that. It's not going to stay as thick. So it goes up and just continues to get smaller. And I'm going to curve it around. Okay. 
and imagine that it comes out right about here. Okay. So that's why I'm going to do that one. Now this one I'm just going to have like my like my larger one that I did here, and I'm just going to have it kind of come up and curve that way. So now for that one, I am going to be able to see like the edge, okay? So I need to create kind of an oval for the edge of my stem. All right. Now, I've got a little bit of erasing to do, okay? I obviously need to erase um, the bottom part of this pumpkin because I didn't do that yet. The original bottom for my bumpy bottom. Okay. I'm erasing some of my little stray lines that I got going on. Um, and I'm going to erase this, which is the back part of my pumpkin, because I don't want my stem to be see-through, right? Okay, erase a little bit in here. Okay, and I also want to erase my original little guideline that I gave myself for my stem, because that won't be there anymore. So, let's darken up this line. Darken up this line and this line. All right, erase this little line that's going across my stem. All right, and now same thing over here. I want to erase this top part of my pumpkin because my pumpkin should not be see-through. Or my stem shouldn't be, should I say. Okay, I want to erase this top part of this guideline that I created for my stem. Okay, darken up my lines a little bit. All right, okay. I'm liking the way that's looking. So now the only other thing that I want to do just to give first for checkpoint one is I would like to know um, where the ridges in my stem are going to be. So if you think about the stem, let me pull out the picture of the actual stem. Okay. See anywhere these points are where, you know, the, the points come down, that's where part of your stem is going to stick out. Right next to it is where there's going to be a shadow because that's where part of your stem is going to be kind of sunken in. So your stem, see this right here? This is where it's sticking out. See how the light hits it? And right next to it, that's where the, the shadow is going to be from where it's kind of sticking in, or, you know, indented. So it sticks out right here where the point is. And then right next to it on either side, it's kind of shadowed because it's sticking in. Same thing here. Okay. So that's what you need to kind of think about with your uh, drawing. So I know right here is going to stick out, okay, right here. So I'm going to create a line. I'm creating the line really light because I don't want, you know, this line's going to be sticking out. So it's actually going to be the highlight, right? Um, can you even see that? Yeah, I guess you can see that a little bit. So I'm just going along and kind of imagining where this line will go, okay? Um, actually, that one wouldn't be one. It's only where the points are. So remember that, it's only where the points are. It's not where your lines on your pumpkin are, it's where the points on your stem are. That's where that's gonna stick out. So every point, if you give yourself a little guideline, that's actually where it's gonna be really light and you're gonna shade on either side of it. So this is going to be my, my last one right here. Okay. Um, so now for this one. This is, my stem's going to stick out right here. And it's going to come around. It's going to stick out. Okay. 
Okay, it's going to stick out right here. Alright, I like the way that looks. Okay, so your checkpoint one should have two pumpkins, one of them sitting slightly in front of the other. Okay, it should have um, your, you should be able to see the ridges on the pumpkin and it sh the bottom should be kind of contoured so it's bumpy like that, so it follows those ridges. Okay, your stem should be on. Okay, you don't have to have a stem that's down farther like this one. You can do both of them like this if you want. Because um, I did that for this, this drawing and it looks perfectly fine. Okay, so you can either choose to do it this way or you can do both of them like this. I'm fine with that. Um, and you should have your guidelines for where your ridges are going to be on your stem for when we start shading. Okay, this is checkpoint one. Um, good luck and I hope to see you guys turning these in next week. Alright, thanks.